Hello again, and welcome to the intro video for Unit 10. Today, we are talking about can and can't. Can and can't. All right, let's get started. Hmm. What can we watch on TV? Well, let's turn on the TV and see. Awesome talents and not so much. She can dance very well. She can't dance very well. He can ride a motorcycle. She can't ride a motorcycle. They can do gymnastics. He can't do gymnastics. He can skateboard really well. He can't skateboard at all. She can surf. He can't surf on water. Thanks for watching. Come back next time for Awesome Talents and Not So Much. Okay, so now it's time for our grammar. Today we are talking about can. Can. Can is the ability to do something. Can is special. It's a special verb because all subjects use can. There is no third person S. So, for example, I can sing, or he can sing, she can sing, it can sing, you can sing, they can sing, we can sing. All subjects use can. Now, for the non-ability, no ability, we use can't, can't. Again, I can't sing, he can't sing, she can't sing, it can't sing, you can't sing, they can't sing, we can't sing. Again, all subjects use the negative can't. So, can is the ability to do something, and can't is no ability to do something. Very good. For the question, remember, can is an auxiliary verb. So, we start the question with can. So I use can, my subject, and the verb. This is a yes no question. And for the answer, again, we say yes and no, the subject, and can 
for positive and can't for negative. So, for example, can she dance? Yes, she can. Can he dance? No, he can't. So the question, yes and no, and the short answer with can. Very good. The WH questions with can. We use the WH question word, can, the subject, and the verb. Remember our WH question words. Who, what, where, and when. Who is special because sometimes we do not use the subject when we ask a question with who. For example, who can dance, Stephanie or Michael? Notice there is no subject. The question is about the subject. I have no subject. Who can dance? And the answer, Michael can. So be careful with who. Sometimes there is no subject. And this question. What can you do? I can dance and draw. I can't sing or cook very well. Very good. When can you go to the movies? I can go on Wednesday or Friday. I can't go on Monday, Tuesday, or Thursday. Okay, time for pronunciation practice. This pronunciation is for the North American accent. People from Canada and the United States. Now, the pronunciation of can and can't. With no verb, for example, a short answer like yes you can and no you can't. In the affirmation, the sound is can, can. It's a long sound, can. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. In the negative, a short sound, can't, can't. No, you can't. Now, notice the N and the T are not pronounced. And the sound stops. For example, uh-uh, uh-uh. When we say uh-uh, the sound is very short and it stops. For example, can't is a similar sound. Can't, can't. So the negative, the N and the T are not pronounced and the sound stops like uh-uh, can't, can't, no you can't, no you can't. With a verb, the affirmation changes. In the affirmation with a verb, for example, I can sing, 
the sound is with no vowel. No vowel sound. Can. 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 I can sing. I can sing. Can. The negative is the same as before. I can't dance. Can't. Can't. I can't dance. The affirmation, very, very, very short. No sound of the vowel. Can. Can. I can sing. So again, the affirmation, I can sing. The negative, I can't dance. I can't dance. Let's review. In the short answer, with no verb, the long sound. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. 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 The negative, the stop. No, you can't. No, you can't. 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 With the verb, very, very, very short, no vowel. Can. I can sing. I can sing. Can. Can. And the negative, can't. Can't. I can't dance. Very good. Okay, now you can say can and can't. If you can't say can and can't, watch the video again. All right. Thanks for watching and good luck.